Okay, what's up legends? Hopefully you're having a great day. So what I'm going to do in this video is show how to add images to objects. There's, it's actually pretty easy. Once you get into it, you might learn one or two things and hopefully you enjoy this video. If you do, subscribe and let's jump into it. So I'm going to delete this guy. First thing, if you want to add it to a plane, very, very simple. So what you want to do is go to edit, preferences and type in images as planes check this and then just save it in case then what you want to do is go shift a and look for image and go yeah images as planes look for one i'm just going to go with this one import and now if i go yeah you can see it imports it bring in the lights and there we go and that's the easiest way to import something so that's how you do it then you can obviously rotate it this and you can do whatever you want with it okay that's the easiest way to import it to a plane let's delete it now if you want to do it to a cube a little bit more complicated but pretty easy shift a let's get a cube okay so what you want to do first is just scale it in so go yeah and then just hit yeah and bring it in something like that okay because you only want to put on one face so we don't want it to be on the whole cube so the first thing you want to do is with the cube selected object hit apply scale okay now what you want to do is go here to material hit new boom go to base color and look for an image texture boom and then go open and let's bring in this one so click on it open image now it doesn't look right no worry we'll fix it it's pretty easy so first thing you want to do is hit tab or set selected then hit u and look for cube projection click on it boom and now it looks a lot better you can see it everywhere but if you want it to only be on one face okay i'll show you how to do it it's actually really easy some people will leave it like this if i go out of tab you can see it doesn't look too bad but let's go back into tab hit tab so with it selected Let's go to UV editing. Bring this up. Let's go here. Then let's bring in our viewport so we can see what we're doing. All right, perfect. So what you want to do is go to edit mode, go to face select. So now if I click here, you can see it scaled this basically like this. So if I go like this, you can see when I scale it, it makes it smaller if I bring it in. You can see but we don't want that okay so what you want to do is if you want to get rid of all the faces or like make them all black except for the one okay now you can see what you want to do is let's click on this one and what you want to do is select it all so go over it hit g and bring it off here now what you want to do is go to shading boom and change this from repeat to clip and you can see it's really taken it away now let's go back to uv editing you can see it's now black now we can do the same for this one so click on it g hit g bring it here same thing let's go here it's there as well so see it's there if you bring it back if i hit g you can see it brings it back now we've got it on the top so we can do the same thing click on it select this all g and at the bottom same thing boom drag over g and there we go now it's only on one spot so just to recap for this one what you want to do is you want to select one side so boom make sure you move it so by g so just hit g bring it so it's not covering any of this image go to shading and make sure that it's changed from repeat to clip and it'll work perfectly fine and then same thing what you can do with this okay let's go back to uv editing so if you want to just scale this now you can just hover over it yes make it smaller make it bigger up to you okay so hopefully this helped okay if you want to do it with another object let's just hide this cube let's go shift a mesh say the cylinder then just got to tab quickly let's go here to material 
hit new same thing base color image texture let's find it open boom boom and then what we can do is go back to editing so UV editing you can see let's go make sure we're in edit mode click here so you can select this face then go over here and G bring it off same principle as with the cube boom and then same thing shading change from repeat to clip layout and there we go go back to UV editing we want to do it for the bottom base select hover over it G bring it off and there we go so now what we can do is hit alt click to select all and you can see this is how it's been unwrapped and now let's go over it so hover over it hit s and you can scale it make it smaller make it bigger you can go g you can bring it down s so you can play around with it and then you can see that's how you scale it obviously the back won't have okay so what you want to do is alt click to select all and you can see if i go yeah select everything if i bring it in yeah so s scale it everything around us now will have patterns okay go to tab but obviously if you click here so tab you've selected all if you s scale it over so you can see i've got nothing here nothing here part of this won't have patterns so make sure you inside this if that makes sense hopefully you enjoyed it quick video and hopefully you learned a thing or two about uv unwrapping a little bit complicated but hopefully the video helped you a bit if it did subscribe check out the patreon and i'll see you in the next video peace